Okay, so for my egg drop, I have two separate ideas that I'm going to be testing today. The first of those two is involving these larger sponges and one smaller sponge. So the idea is that um, I can cut a space for the egg here to sit tightly in, in the sponge. So then the egg will go in the sponge and then um, make room for it in between these two sponges. <clears throat> so that way it sits in between and then I'll cut a hole in the top sponge so it can lay in. And then I'll secure it with either um, a rubber band or string. So that's my first idea. Um, and then the second idea uses this box and then four sponges. My thinking is that I can cut the sponge so that it perfectly um, covers every inch inside the box. So that way it's completely covered and it's secure um, from the top too, like put a sponge on the top in here and then a sponge everywhere in here. And then um, just kind of like close it up and tape it. Um, I bought extra sponges just in case this one isn't enough. And then I'm gonna cut everything up and then start placing and then I'm gonna go test them out. Okay, so now what I've done is I took one of these sponges and I used the measurements of the egg and I cut it so that it fits in here. Um, you have to like open this one. So it doesn't like lay flat, but if I open it up all the way, it fits and it goes around this, the entire egg so it can sit when it's standing up. Um, so then what I did is I brought over this sponge and I placed it to see if it would fit inside and it does. Um, even with the egg inside of it, it fits like just around. Um, and so then the next thing that I did was I cut a hole into the second sponge. Um, I started, it wasn't very deep at all, but then I realized that the farther it would go in, um, the better that it would um, close around the egg. So I cut it pretty deep. So now, um, without me tying it down to anything, it just works like this. Um, so obviously I'm going to have to get some string, um, because I'm thinking I'll just have to tie this up, um, in order to keep these two together. Um, so yeah, I'm considering maybe getting a third sponge just to impact the blow a little bit more on the bottom. Um, but I don't want it to be too heavy, so I think I might go with this if it works. Okay, Okay. so the next thing that I did was I found some string actually in my house. I was picturing myself using um, a lighter string, just like really small thread. Um, but I found that this ties around perfectly and it feels pretty secure. Um, if it doesn't work out the way I'm picturing, I think I'm going to go buy smaller string. But for now, this looks pretty good. Cool. Okay, so now that I have what I hope is my finished product, um, this ladder is about 12 feet and it should go up, I'm hoping like 15 feet. Um, so that's about halfway to what I have to get. I'm hoping if it can pass this test, I'll take it to Andrew and test it out on the stands. Um, I'm going to drop it this way because I think standing up it would get a little bit too much roll or a little bit more roll at least. So I'm just going to go as high up as I can and drop. Okay, so I dropped it two separate times from the ladder just to get a feel for it. First two times, totally fine. Works out good. And then the third time, I had an epic fail. So... Um, I washed my sponges off and I think I'm going to go to the store to get some smaller string and I'm gonna let these dry um, I don't know if it was the string or just that I have been dropping it too many times um, but I'm gonna try my second idea first and then once these dry and I have different string I will try this again okay for my next idea what I did was basically I took a pack of four sponges and I inserted them all in here um, just like at the normal size that they were 
And then I started to clip around the box until they all perfectly fit inside. So there's a full one at the bottom and then on the sides, they're just like incomplete ones. There's all the scraps. Um, and then my thinking is that this one will fit perfectly over the cover. And then I'll have my egg, I'll have my egg inside like this. And then it actually closes. It just takes a little toughness. My uh, worry is that this weighs a little bit. It's definitely a lot denser than the other ones were. Um, I dropped it from like maybe 10 feet and it was okay. Um, obviously, I think I'm going to do a 15 foot test and then um, I'll decide if I'm bringing this to Andrew as well. And I also just got back from the store. I went and I got bubble wrap um, for my other idea. So we'll see. Okay, so the first practice run, success. It worked. Okay, so the box did not work. Um, now that I think about it, the hard surface of the box really doesn't help make this any lighter. Um, so I've decided to try to improve upon the bigger sponge idea. Um, so in doing that, I'm going to... I'm just going to um, wrap this in bubble wrap is my thinking. Um, Trying to get it all the way around the side. It's still proving to be a little bit difficult and my sponges are still a little wet. Um, but I think this is my best option just because it's much lighter and I had a little bit more success. I dropped this twice without the bubble wrap and it did work a little bit. Um, so now I'm going to attempt to wrap this. Um, I decided to go with tape. I thought it might be a little bit more reliable. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now I have wrapped my entire thing in um, bubble wrap. I wrapped it twice around. Um, hopefully that's not too dense. I used scotch tape uh, to make it stay all together. I'm a little nervous that that process might take a little bit too long on the day. But if this really works for me, um, I might just have to do that. Um, so I know the perfect length that each bubble wrap piece seems to be. So now I'm going to go to the ladder and test a 15 foot drop to see if it's worth bringing to Andrew stands to test. Okay, so now I feel really good because that one did work. I did it three separate times. I dropped it from about 15 feet. Um, the only thing that was a little troublesome was that I had to re-tape the um, bubble wrap each time and it became increasingly a little bit more difficult. Um, but it was nothing that I couldn't do. Um, and the scotch tape worked perfectly fine. I did have masking tape, um, but found that I didn't really need it. Um, so even when, like by the third one, where it became like a little bit loose, it was still completely protected, um, saved it from the fall. Um, I just have to make sure that it's all the right measurements when it's included with the bubble wrap um, that fit the 20-20-20 and then the, the 250 requirements. So I hope that that does work, but as of now, it seems as though this one is my winner. I'm definitely going to go take this to Andrew um, and see if it works. Go. Go. Okay. Hi. Hi. Let her rip. Oh. Did it work? Did it work? It worked. Okay, so after going to test out my um, A drop, I went uh, to Andrew and I went to the top of the home stands and I did drop it um, from over 30 feet actually when I was reaching up um, and it was completely fine. Actually on one of my falls it hit a hurdle and did not budge at all. Um, one, and then I went to go get it weighed. Um, I got it weighed in pounds, actually at a FedEx, um, just to, like, make sure it was right and everything. And they told me it was 0 0.4 pounds. Um, so I'm going to convert that, uh, 
two grams. And then also I found that I measured using a tape measure and I converted from inches uh, to centimeters and found that my sponge is actually too long. So as you can see, I drew some lines here and I'm going to start cutting just to, because the height is not... Um, too high it's actually under so it's okay but the width is just too long so I'm going to cut that and then I think I'm going to wrap it back up in the um the bubble wrap and then I'm going to measure it all again but it should be good so this is the final project for my egg drop um, this is what it looks like with the egg inside um, it's all taped together with the bubble wrap um, I did have to cut off some of the sponge here it used to be longer now it's shorter um, and it fits the requirements um, for the 20 by 20 by 20 and it is under 250 um, so this is the product that I will be dropping in class so thank you for watching